Hello, this is Renee, and Tom and I are on the Ultimate World Cruise. Imagine this, you've been on a cruise for nine months, circling the globe, and here you are, docking at your final island, Coco Cay, Bahamas. And what's one thing you want to do before you set foot back on land for the last time? Well, we made every moment count. But first, let's talk about yesterday's auction for Make-A-Wish. We managed to raise over $35,000. Can you believe it? Did you know that Coco Cay was a hideout for pirates in the 1700s? As we docked at Coco Cay, we couldn't help but laugh. Wonder of the Seas was right next to us, making our ship look like a little tugboat. It's all about perspective, isn't it? Could you do a world cruise for nine months? Four months? Six months? Let me know in the comments below, what would you do? We kicked off our day by checking out this magnificent sand sculpture. Yes, it says 16 sailings, it was actually 17. Then we made our way to Hideaway Bay. The band was playing, setting the mood, and Tom and I decided to skip the train and take a leisurely walk. Our first port was Coco Cay, and Hideaway Beach was not open yet. It did not open until January of 24. It's an adult-only retreat. After grabbing a drink with a scuba straw, because why not? Good morning. Nice glasses. Good morning. Hideaway Beach was only for the Serenade of the Seas. Even though the Wonder of the Seas was docked, they were not allowed in. Okay. Awesome. He's with Tom in the backpack. The highlight of the morning was the Sea-Doo Water Show. We asked the crew if they get tired of seeing this every day, and they said it's the first time they've ever seen it.
check out these over the water hammocks. That afternoon, they broke out the champagne guns. Yep, you heard that right. A champagne gun because when you're ending the world cruise, you go out in style. It was so nice for Royal Caribbean to throw Tom a giant birthday party for his birthday. Happy birthday, Tom. After spending the day in Hideaway Beach, it was time to go back to the ship one last time. It's bittersweet as we're walking back because this is the last time we'll be walking across this gangway and checking in with security. Once we got back to our room, we had another surprise waiting for us. A framed picture of the drone shot of all the world cruisers. It was the perfect memento to remind us of the community we became a part of during this incredible journey. And speaking of family, how could I forget? Al got a brand new set of sports clothes, all thanks to the activities manager. And here's the best part, he hand sewed them. Al couldn't have looked more ready for his next adventure. Talk about a special send off. He is emergency instruction number 38. All right, and that's his number right there, 202 giveaways. We're gonna stamp all three days, okay, Al? So you have to make sure you remember. So this is C-Day? Oh yeah, you know C-Day, okay. And you know Coco Ah, from the back. Very good. Excellent. Let's do it. As the ship was ready to pull out, Tom and I decided to climb the rock wall. We've been meaning to do this for the last nine months. Nothing like waiting to the last day. The wonder in the serenade of the seas was having a horn contest. Time to pack up the last thing, the map of everywhere we've been. When we laid in bed at night, we looked at that and we're like, we can't believe we've been there. Our last dinner was a special dinner menu in the main dining room. And we also celebrated Tom's birthday. A couple of bags for donation. Royal Caribbean has set up a room with donation boxes and everything will be delivered to Haiti. And after departure tonight, we will make a small loop out to the Northwest to protest channels and then come back in again to watch a fantastic firework display. After dinner, we watched a spectacular fireworks show from the deck lighting up Coco Cay. fireworks there was a cake in the wind jammer with an ice sculpture bags in the hallway and one last show at the tropical theater the farewell show
just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. The final, final show was a tribute to the incredible crew who made this journey unforgettable. They weren't just the people who served us, they became family. The crew did an amazing job throughout the entire nine months going above and beyond to make this journey incredible. There are so many crew members we could thank, from the dining staff who knew our names and favorite dishes, to the activities team who kept every day filled with joy and laughter. The bars, the entertainment venues, and customer service who, who always greeted us with a smile and made every interaction memorable. And thanks to the back of the house heroes, the kitchen staff, laundry team, engineers, and so many others who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to keep the ship running smoothly. Their efforts ensured our journey was not just a vacation, but an unforgettable experience. I'll everybody the current the same. Their warmth and dedication, hard work made every day feel like home. back home well thank you very much indeed for being with us for 22 days for a segment two segments three segments or 274 days in the pink amazing thank you for allowing us to have great memories with you and for you to great memories for us uh, one more time. the last time walking out of the tropical theater As we walked back to the room, more and more luggage was put out in the hallway. The next morning, I got up early to take one final walkthrough on the ship, and the overflow luggage was in the tropical theater. So many memories and souvenirs are stored in these bags. and the other side of the theater. We docked in Miami in the early morning hours. Over the last nine months, I've watched this ship pull into many ports. This port is the last port. Back to the room to say goodbye to our cabin one last time. Leaving the cabin was surreal. We spent nine months calling this space our home, and every corner had a memory. From the early mornings when we watched the sunrise, to the late nights when we collapsed on the bed after a day of full adventure. It came rushing back. As I closed the door, it felt like I was closing the chapter that we had been living day by day. Walking down the hallway felt heavy, knowing this was the final walk. The usual hum of the ship, the familiar creaks and gentle sway, all seemed more pronounced as the ship itself was saying goodbye. On behalf of the captain, officers, staff and crew, we would like to thank you very much for cruising with Royal Caribbean International, especially on board Serenade of the Seas, and we wish you a safe and pleasant journey home. Stepping off the ship was like leaving a piece of ourselves behind. It was bittersweet.
a mix of gratitude for the incredible journey and sadness that this chapter has come to the end. A deep breath and then a realization we are homeward bound, carrying with us the memories of a lifetime. We received a warm welcome at the port. We get on the bus one last time as if it was our last excursion, but the excursion is to the airport. Rain greeted us as we left the ship. We boarded the plane and Al got to sit in the pilot seat. What a send off. And he's gonna fly and here's his buddy. <laughs> we grabbed our luggage, the last few pieces of our life at sea and headed towards the exit. Each bag was heavier than we first boarded and not just with souvenirs and clothes, but memories from every corner of the world. After getting the luggage stowed in the car, we went straight to Culver's, our favorite local cuisine. We were greeted with a warm welcome and hugs. Unpacking was like reliving every moment, especially as we went through the sea pass cards. 100 photos in each USB drive and digital prints. And to top it off, we got an excellent card from guest services team. Dear Shawls, thank you for sharing your talent and showing us the cruising elephant with different outfits. Please keep creating magic. Plus many gifts from the family welcoming us home. You set your sights to cruise the world. Now it's time to follow your compass and drop your anchor at home. As we unpacked, we vacuumed and this was the dust after nine months. And just like that, the cruise is over. So what's the takeaway here? Why should you embrace every moment, every adventure, and every little piece of joy that comes your way? Because like this cruise, life is a journey with ups and downs, laughter and tears, new experiences and cherished memories. Thank you all for joining us on this incredible voyage. Your support and enthusiasm has made it even more special. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, and never stop chasing your adventures. Even though this journey has come to an end, we know that more adventures await for us in the future. So let's raise our glasses and toast to an unforgettable cruise around the world. And who knew when I set sail that I would be writing a children's book that would be on the Royal Caribbean fleet? I'll leave a link in the description to below so you can order your very own copy. More books to come. If you don't seize these moments, what's at risk? Missing out on the story you could be telling and the one that inspires you and others to live fully. See you on our next cruise. I still can't believe we did this.